that's our top story in business news, Apple. It was the most valuable company in the world not so long ago, but no longer. The company's shares dropped below the $400 mark yesterday, and investors are wondering if the shine is off Apple for good. Kevin O'Leary is our business commentator. He's the chair of O'Leary Funds, and he's in Toronto this morning. Uh, listen, is Apple losing the shine there, Kevin? No, it's going through a transition, Heather, that's going to take a couple of years from being a growth stock to a value stock, and that does take some time. Um, it'll probably go lower than where it is today, and that's because something's changed in the world. If you think about what smartphones do, what the killer apps were and are for a smartphone, regardless of brand, it's email, calendaring, and contacts. That's about 80% of what people really do with a smartphone. And what's quietly happened over the last two years is all of that has moved up into the cloud, into, up into the internet. So whether you use Google Calendar, Google Contacts, Google Email, or Yahoo, or you use Microsoft's online Outlook now, it doesn't matter which phone you buy anymore. All of those work ingeniously with any phone. You can simply switch between, let's say, an iPhone to a RIM or a BlackBerry, which I recently did, in a matter of four seconds. So, you know, I'm agnostic to hardware. I don't care anymore whether it's Apple, Samsung, or, or, or BlackBerry. It's whatever hot du jour I'm going to buy. And that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on a company like Apple. I just don't need to own it anymore because it's a commodity, Heather. That's all. Yeah, we've talked about this before, you know, one-time tech darlings that do plummet in the end, you know, RIM, although it's on a rebound a bit, Nortel, Sony, we've talked about this. Is it inevitable, though, that you enjoy just a high and then you never regain that? I think that's what history tells you, and it's an important lesson for investors to go back and remember Motorola, Nokia, Sony, the darlings of the day crashing to earth, never recovering their former glory. And that's probably some derivative of that's going to happen to Apple. It's not a bad company. It's got lots of great technology, but it is a consumer electronics company now. And I think over the next couple of years, it'll find a level. It's going to have to increase its dividend to get someone like me interested in buying it because there's so many other options in other sectors that pay more cash yield. But I think its days as a growth company are over. Nobody likes to talk about that, but it's the truth, so you might as well deal with it. But for investors, the lesson is never, ever, ever let more than any or any stock ever become more than 5% of your portfolio because it just proves it again. Apple's another case. Poo-poo happens. You've always said that. You've always said no more than 5% as well. Sticking by the advice this morning, and Kevin, I thank you for it. Our business commentator, the chair of O'Leary Funds, Kevin O'Leary.